Hi, I'm George, and this week I'm joined by the lovely Lisa Potter Dixon. And today we're doing glitter lip. We are indeed. Yeah. I'm actually going to do a red glitter lip. So great. So festive. More Christmas is more. <laughs> we're also going to have two very good friends with us <laughs> for this, um, and they are called Masking Tape and Tissue. And I'm going to get you to apply your okay. lipstick. Yeah, so apply it so that the little teardrop is at the outer edge. That's okay. It. So put that orange lipstick on and really pile it on. Okay. Try not to laugh. But I'm going to put a bit of clear gloss serious. on first. Okay. Be very, be very serious. Seriously. So we're just going to use a little bit of clear gloss over the top of the um, lipstick. And this is going to be like our glue for the glitter. Are I'm you trying to concentrate so much. Don't be nervous. <laughs> so just a bit of clear gloss all over the lips like this. And the good thing is, if you go, if any of the glitter drops or you go outside the lip line, don't worry, we're going to fix that afterwards. <laughs> okay, we grab that glitter. <gasps> it looks so great. It's so glittery. So I'm just using a lip brush and dipping it into the glitter and then just going to start patting it on. Really important that you use a brush to apply this. Don't use your fingers because you want to be really precise. So you see how I'm starting on the inner part of the lip and we're going to move outwards. That just gives you a bit more control than starting on the edge. Oh my god. You're never going to want to take this off. I feel weirdly like I'm kind of post surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the beard. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is take the masking tape, and it's really important to use masking tape and not sellotape because sellotape can be a bit harsh. A bit harsh. You don't want to rip. Don't yeah. want to give yourself a chin wax while you're there. No, you don't. <laughs> so what I actually do is take it and then just a little few times on the yeah. hand just to take off a bit of the stickiness. And then anywhere that you need to remove the glitter. I was telling George Elliot that my cat rolled in <laughs> glitter that I spilt the other day. And ate some of it. I, I, that was my, <laughs> my dog licked some of it. I mean, but walking around like this with a glittery tongue, but um, he's fine, don't panic. Um, <laughs> but don't try masking tape for cats. That doesn't no. work quite as well. Just a human. The human glitter. Exactly. And then to finish, I'm going to conceal around the lips just to make them pop even more. And this is when you would put your foundation on, if that's what you were. Oh my god, it's so great. So what's gonna, what you're going to need, a few top tips. Drink out of a straw mm. all night. And don't go kissing anyone underneath the mistletoe because everyone will know it was you because... But everyone's going to want to kiss you. Yeah, it's true. The glitter will transfer. Look yeah. how gorgeous that looks. That is amazing. And what I would say as well is the... the so exciting. The rest of the makeup, just kind of a real dewy base with put a touch of mascara on yeah. and good brows. You really don't need anything else Statement apart from lit. that. Yeah. Nothing else. Exactly. <laughs> maybe, some, maybe some glittery shoes to match, but... Dorothy shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Glitter lip. Wow, it looks amazing. Today we're all about what we're doing. Glitter tears of joy, obviously. Glitter tears of joy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with actually mascara. Yeah. Um, and we're going to use a blue mascara. Mm. Perfect for party season because yeah. you're a bit hungover. Oh yeah. Pet pet pet. Bit of... Pet pet pet. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on. Okay, so actually what right. we're going to do is we're just going to apply it onto the okay. um, top lashes. Just the top lashes? Yeah. Okay, I can I do mean, that. we wouldn't want to go over the top. <laughs> Quite like normal, and then what you're going to do is turn the wand and go vertical because then you can get all those tiny little inner corner mm. lashes and outer corner. And just go for it. That looks amazing. Okay. Yeah. Moving on to the glitter. <laughs> Right. Most importantly. Most importantly. So what you're going to use is a clear gloss or Vaseline mm -hmm. um, or even coconut oil. It's Ooh. really good. You might think it's slidey, but actually it's, this glitter sticks really well to it. Remember, wherever you put whatever glue, like yeah. formula, you, wherever you put it, that's where the glitter is yeah. going to go. So start small <laughs> and then, you know, you can always add more. And we're going to actually think about where you cry naturally. It's kind of like an extreme highlighting scenario. <laughs> it's a little bit there. Now we're going to start with a rather like quite fine, mm -hmm. beautiful kind of iridescent. It looks like snow. Yeah, it does look like snow. And I'm just using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Frosty. And you can see where you put that gloss as well. So have that on. And that looks amazing. So if you just want to go subtle, then you can just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to. We don't, there's no point going subtle with glitter, people. There isn't. Have a look at that and see how it looks. 
I think it's also a great excuse if you wear it at a New Year's party to swirl your head around a lot, get all the lights catching your yes. glitter. You have to dance like a babe. And with this, you can just kind of let it... Just tap it on really gently, and you can kind of just spread it out where you want it. This is... This should be your signature look. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to do it on New Year's. Yeah, it looks awesome. My top tip for doing glitter is do it in your pyjamas. Don't do it in the outfit that you're planning on wearing out because then your pajamas get all the glitter and these look fabulous in the evening. But also your outfit won't be absolutely covered. So your face will be a disco ball, not your outfit. My top tip is to wear the outfit <laughs> so that you do look like a disco ball. <laughs> oh, so fun. The new year, this is yeah. awesome because it looks like fireworks. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Firework, tears of joy. Yeah, firework. And so easy as well. Yeah. That didn't take ages. That's like two seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very, very easy. So that's it. You are the tears of joy. <laughs> Hi, I'm George, and I'm with the lovely Lise Potter Dixon for the third and final instalment of our glitter series. So today, what are we doing? We are doing the disco brow. Oh. Yes. The brow. It. I'm just taking a really fine brow pencil and I'm going to do these little flicks. Just like believable hair like strokes is what you're going for. And I'm actually going to lengthen your brows a little bit because I don't okay. know if you know this, George, but your brows should end yes. here. So call the nose, call the eye. So that's where your eyebrows should end. Now, if your brow ends in the right place, it's going to lift your cheekbones. Oh. So now I'm just going to use a brow fibre gel just to add a little bit of volume to the brows as well. Okay. I'm going to go away from the hair first. Oh. And then back with the hair, because then you're coating the entire hair from root to tip. Oh, that's a great idea. So I'm going to use a clear gel just to kind of mm. make them a little bit more feral at the front, a bit feathered <laughs> almost. But I will smooth them. I like to think of it as a supermodel brow. Oh, that's it. It's exactly That makes what it me is. feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Not feral. <laughs> so I'm just taking actually a glitter eyeliner, because that's mm. the easiest way, and I'm using it in gold. And I'm just going to draw literally under the brow. And I love the gold because it's quite subtle still. Yeah. Wow, yes, I love this. It looks so cool and it's so simple as well. Yeah. And you can go for any colour. So if you just want to match it to your outfit, your shoes, mm -hmm. or not match it at all, then go for it. You know what I'm going to do just because I can and we're here is we're yeah. going to put a little bit of glitter just into the corners of the eyes as well. Mm, just to kind of... Oh, that's what I needed. Oh. You are disco browed up. I'm so disco browed up. I'm very excited. Oh, that's so fun. Do you feel like a modern day drunk John Travolta? <laughs> I feel kind of like the Bee Gees. Space <laughs> disco. Like I feel quite like futuristic disco. Yeah. I can't I can't really do it. Can that. you do the other one? I can't do it. Am I doing it? I'm just gonna No, you're frowning. <laughs>